first of all, you got to make sure you have the right health care provider. And you don't have to just have one. You can have alternative health care providers. You just need to, them all to communicate. You can get a chiropractor, an herbalist. There's more than, there's a lot of opportunities out there. And sometimes you get trapped in with a, with a health care provider that really only has a few opportunities. Their training is limited. They're not as open-minded. So you need to make sure you have the right health care provider that will work with you on a lot of different opportunities. Okay? Now, also, um, seeking that I shall find. You've got to do the work. You've got to go out like in events like this and review the opportunities and see what might work for you and, and to just discuss and discover with uh, uh, support groups and, and discussion groups um, what might work for you. Okay? Um, journaling to try to figure out what's not working for you and why, what your aggravating factors, your alleviating factors are. Uh, and um, uh, that will help a lot. Uh, most people have to go to a family practice doctor or a pain specialist to get their medicines if they're using medicines. And most people here have severe enough pain that they are on medications. So, but remember, there's other alternatives. And your doctor who prescribes medications is not probably going to go outside too much of their expertise in medications. So, you know, work with an herbalist, work with a chiropractor, work with a masseuse, work with other types of people. You know, I found relief from an acupuncturist. So, so go out there and find opportunities. And uh, that'll help a lot. And talk, make sure you communicate. Don't be afraid to tell your doctor that you're going out to find some other opportunities. They may have some hesitation because they're trained in, in a certain type of uh, discipline, but you need to look at all the different disciplines.